and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film for you guys a fun collaboration video. This is a video collaboration put together by Karina from Miss Stone Home here on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel down below as well as the other women who are participating in this collaboration and uh, I'm really excited to cl collaborate with this group of women because we are all thrifters. We've been thrifting for a long time and uh, I love the community that I found here on uh, YouTube with like-minded you know people who like to shop secondhand and this group is some of the ladies that I really have enjoyed um, getting to know over the past I think I've been on YouTube for like four years now five years no four years I can't remember <laughs> anyway I have really enjoyed getting to know this group um, of women and uh, I never miss any of their videos <laughs> so uh, anyway yeah without further ado let me just jump right into what the collaboration is all about so uh, Karina thought it would be fun if we shared with you guys things that we have never shared in a haul before but things that we thrifted pre YouTube so things that we thrifted a while ago before we started our channels before we were like showing things to you guys uh, called thrift hauls these are just things that you know uh, we would have picked up because um, that was our style at the time and I thought it was kind of funny because I'm looking back at the things that I picked up that have lasted all the way until now and I think you guys will be able to see that my style has sort of remained consistent <laughs> uh, forever so anyway let me just hop right in and share with you the things that I found um, a lot of them are little sort of um, pottery pieces or like China stuff that I uh, use in the kitchen and then there are two uh, big pieces of furniture that I will also share with you that I uh, thrifted a long time ago and uh, still are holding up great today so let's just hop right in the first thing here is I remember finding these two mugs when Dave and I were first married no children and uh, we were visiting Toronto and there was this little um, I don't think it was a thrift store but more like a vintage store very curated store uh, with very special items so I found these two mugs here I believe they are um, Stonehenge like midwinter or shoot now I can't remember what they are anyway they are made in England mugs and Dave and I like a good hot chocolate and so this was pre Aaron drinking coffee so I bought these for Dave and myself and we still to this day drink hot chocolate out of them uh, in the winter so I don't remember how much I paid for all this stuff but um, you know I was happy to find these and these are very uh, up my alley still to this day next are two bowls from the kitchen which we used quite often we use them quite often for cereal or soup and stuff like that and these are these bowls here <laughs> they uh, have a beautiful green and blue floral pattern there and oh this is the midwinter fine tableware and uh, this is the little marking on the back and I got two of these and these were actually found at the thrift store so um, of course again I don't remember the prices but anyway we use these almost every day and uh, they are still hold up well I don't know if we're supposed to but we put them through the dishwasher all the time and they're still holding up great so those two things there and then there is this plate that I use uh, in the kitchen as well this one I hand wash just because um, it doesn't have any I don't know I just hand wash it I thought that I should <laughs> so uh, it is called Bolero by Sovereign, I think it is. That's the little marking on the back there. But I think it's more like a handmade type piece, piece like artisan type piece. And uh, I use that in kitchen all the time. <laughs> and then this is a little vase that I got at the Goodwill when we used to still have the Goodwill in um, Ottawa, Canada. We don't have one anymore but I had this little vase for a very long time and I just loved this sort of almost watercolor effect of the glaze on it so that is that there I use it quite often in uh, my home decor and especially in the spring and summer just because of the coloring of it but anyway really love that and then there's this pillow here that actually just got ripped not that long ago but I thrifted this pillow I'm pretty sure in like High school maybe junior high I'm not sure but this is it here it's very teeny tiny and I think when I first bought it it was bigger and the fabric was really ripped 
and tattered or maybe this was the part that was ripped and tattered oh no at the bottom here you can see how I sewed it um, so anyway I put it back together made it sort of a teeny tiny pillow just because I love the fabric so much it's that kind of fabric that ha it's like velvety um, texture there so almost like upholstery fabric or I don't know what they call this but anyway very heavy duty fabric and I loved the color especially the green and so anyway just got a rip in it just pretty recently so I'll just sort of tuck these ends here in again and then um, sew it up like that and I'll still keep it it's the perfect like head pillow when you're trying to like lie down and watch TV so anyway I love that there and then what else oh here is a little pottery piece here that I picked up a long time ago I'm pretty sure I got this at Value Village actually um, now that I remember yeah anyway I've had it for a long time so I always just keep trinkets in it in my top drawer of my dresser so I've had this for a long time and I just love this little detail there and uh, oh yeah it even has an old Value Village sticker around there so <laughs> that's pretty neat does it say oh there's a date so uh, 03, so March 31st, 2011. So pre-kids, pre pre-YouTube, <laughs> that's what I bought this. So that's kind of fun there. So I love that color. And then lastly, I don't use these mugs that often, but I remember buying these mainly just for the um, design. <laughs> like, you know, blue and green. Obviously I love blue and green and I've, Although blue is not my favorite color now, it's more green and yellow, but I really love this design. And this is the maker on the bottom. I picked up a few um, things of this, but it is um, made in Norway. So this is the maker here on the bottom. And just recently, actually, I've picked up a few things. I think it was maybe last summer or the summer before, I picked up um, two salt and uh, pepper shakers uh, by the same uh, designer and or brand and uh, I really liked it. So it's Turi Design, I think, T-U-R-I Design, made in Norway. So that is that. And then the next two pieces I'm going to share with you are big pieces of furniture. So the first is a buffet that I have in my dining room. So in here I store a lot of, um, like in the middle cabinet I store a lot of uh, linens and stuff for the dining table and then on the either side I just store a ton of home decor so whatever I'm not using I store in there and I really love this I, this is something that we bought um, Dave and I bought when we were first married it was uh, sixty dollars I remember it was kind of pricey but it was at this um, store down in the neighborhood called Hintenberg and uh, we bought it there and the guy was funny he's like yep this is teak teak wood teak wood we're gonna I'm gonna sell it to you and Dave and I were like oh I don't know <laughs> and uh, anyway I love the lines of it and uh, so we ended up buying it and bringing it home so for $60 we got that and then the next thing is something that I bought in I believe I was in college maybe maybe high school I don't know maybe college but anyway it is this dresser here we still use this dresser uh, we've used it always since we've been married I had it in my bedroom when I was in college and uh, I just love it. it it like both of these pieces of furniture they can use a bit of a um, maybe a little bit of a refresh like the wood is not in the best condition and uh, there's sort of like water stains on them and stuff like that but they serve a great purpose. I love the lines of them, so we keep them around. So anyway, there's also two pieces of art that um, I thought I would share with you guys. And the first is a piece of art in Miriam's room that I thrifted a long time ago. It's of this, um, you know, wide-eyed little girl. It's a mid-century type uh, piece of artwork, and uh, that is in her room. Uh, because when I first bought it, she was born with dark hair, and so I, I thought she might be grow up to be um, a brunette, but she's not actually. She has blonde hair now, and so anyway, I thought it looked like her, so that's uh, why I first bought that for her, but I thrifted that uh, when she was quite young, and then the next piece of art is art that I have in the playroom, and uh, I absolutely love it. Um, it is a not a reproduction piece, like it's an actual piece of artwork. I think it's probably like an oil painting. 
and uh, I just love the sort of abstract design of it and um, yeah I just really like that and I think I bought that at maybe Salvation Army I think it was like $14 so at the time I thought it was quite expensive but I've had it up in my walls for forever so <laughs> I really was uh, an investment piece and I absolutely love it till still to this day so then a couple pieces that I thought of to share with you kind of like accessories this I shared on Instagram and uh, this hangs out in Miriam's room now just because I don't carry it around with me but I have absolutely love this purse here it's got all my love there of you know uh embroidery or cruel work and then um this little can you know opening here and then it's got like tortoise shell type design and uh it's green on the inside and i just love this vintage little handbag so that is that and then i've got two pieces of jewelry one actually recently broke um, but I'm holding on to it to put it on a new chain. This is the little pennant here. I got that a long time ago and I love it. So I want to find a new chain for that. Sort of one that like hangs a little low. So anyway, got that thrifted a long time ago. Still have it. And then lastly, this piece of jewelry here um, is like pearls on one side with this sort of... Um, goldy type floral design each with like a little pearl and uh, it's kind of a little short there but i love this i can't remember which thrift store i found that at but quite a while ago and uh you know i still love it still wear it quite often so those are two pieces of jewelry that um have stood the test of time so that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to go check out um all the links of everybody participating below i think you'll get a kick out of seeing things that have you know stood the test of time and uh, were bought pre-youtube days and uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing so you don't miss a video in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!